Hello and welcome everyone. Marcus Small here from the smallman.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can actually filter data programmatically from one sheet to another. Now what we want to do is take this manual task where we put on the filter and then we filter one of these criteria and then we take that criteria from this sheet to this sheet, yeah? And we're going to automate that specific process. So let's go and have a look at what that might entail yeah so we want to press alt f11 and then if there's no module in place just go insert module now we've got a new module and what we want to do i might just give it a name mdl filter what we want to do is create a sub so we'll sub filter data all right that's the name of our subroutine and I'll go back into Excel and explain the mechanics of what I'm going to do. So we have a look at the column that we need, yeah? Intuitively, what Excel does is when you put a filter on, it puts a filter on everything, yeah? Well, we're not going to do that. We're just going to put a filter on this field, yeah? Column 7, yeah? Now, the number of the column doesn't matter. We'll just put it on, if we were to put it on column G, there's only one filter goes on. So we're going to use and abuse this column to put the criteria that we wish into our VBA. So let's go and have a look at that. So basically, that's column G. So we will say range, open bracket, and we'll say G1 to, so comma, and then I'll go to the bottom of Excel and then come back up. So I'll say G1048576, yeah? And then I'll go dot and Excel up. Excel up. All right, good stuff. Now it's two brackets. Now that's the that's trapped the range from G1 to the bottom of the column that's used in column G. Yeah. Now what we'll do is we say dot auto filter, auto filter, and now this is where it gets interesting. Now ordinarily you'd have to put seven if you used all of the columns. We're just going to put one because we're just filtering one column. We type a comma and then we'll say we want to grab the store information, yeah? So that's effectively our code to filter the data. Now we want to copy the data that's been filtered. So we'll do a slightly different technique. We'll say we want to get, uh, we'll start in A1, yeah? And then we'll say dot current region. And that is basically all of the data in the tabular data set. So basically the entire, let me just show you, Alt F11. If I press Control Shift 8, that's the current region. It's everything in that specific data set, yeah? So that's what that line of code does. And then we want to just offset by one, because I've already got the, I've, I've got the, uh, the headers trapped, offset by one. The headers are already trapped, so we just go down one row and then we'll say dot copy, yeah? So that copies everything that's been filtered, yeah? Now, the second part of a copy routine is to where do you want to put it? So I'll look over here and say, okay, well, I want to put it in the output sheet and its worksheet code name is sheet two. So we'll say sheet two, and we know that we want to put the data in cell A2, yeah? Because our heading line is in row one. Yeah, so that's effectively the two lines that should get us uh, the code that we wish. Yeah, now let's we we can actually watch this sort of play out. Let me just fiddle with the way that it looks and feels. Here we go. All right, that's what I wanted, and I'll just put this maybe just here so we can watch what's happening as as we one run through the procedure. So we'll press F8 to kick the process off. And then just as a bit of a sidebar, this will run on the sheet that we have active. I can make it more flexible after the event once we know that it's all tickety-boo. So we'll press F8 again. Now this is the line that filters the code, F8. It's filtered by store. Now it should offset by one row, copy the data to sheet. The output sheet. So we'll have a look in the output sheet. Nothing there. Alt F11 to get the code back. And then we'll press F8 now. Okay. So in the output sheet, there's the data. In the filter sheet, there's the data. 
we can run the code out. I'll just stop the code. So there we go. So that's effectively the code to push data from one place to another. Now, the problem you would have is the second time you went to run the procedure, the data set might be a little smaller. It might. It doesn't matter if it's larger because it'll just overwrite. But if it is a little smaller, If we filter by another criteria, like let's say online, ooh, it looks a bit longer. Now that, that's not a problem specifically, but if online was only say three columns wide, let's remove some of this data. If it was only three columns when we went to do it, it would copy the data, it would put the data in A2, and you would be left with all this extra data that you didn't want, yeah? So what we can do in the code is I'll just press escape and control shift L and alt F11. Yeah, we'll just maximize this. And what we want to do is we want to clear the range in sheet two. So we will say uh, sheet two uh, dot, now I've got to pick a range, so I'll say uh, A1. I'll, actually, what we can do is we can use the code that we've got below yeah so we can say copy all of that data and paste it there sheet two uh oh i've got to put a range there i forgot to copy the range yeah square bracket a1 open square bracket a1 dot current region dot offset one dot copy no not dot copy dot clear i could say dot clear that will clear all the cells, but I just want to clear the contents. One of the good things about clearing the contents is it won't, it, it keeps the formatting, yeah? So if I clear, it clears everything. So if you've got a date, it'll take its format and just push, push it away. So when you push the new data in, it, it uh, actually we're copying and pasting, it won't matter, but it's better practice to just clear the contents, yeah? Unless you want any of the coloring to disappear. <laughs> All right, okay. So that, That'll effectively clear the contents of all the cells except the heading row, yeah? You could just copy the headings, but yeah, look, I've chosen to do it this way. And what we want to do is we want to show no mark that the filter actually was ever there. So we go uh, sheet one, because this is the filter sheet, sheet one, and that's the worksheet code name for sheet one, dot, and then we want to go auto filter mode equals false, right? Now, just in case the filters are already on, we want that at the end, and then we want it at the start. So it turns any filters that may have been on off, yeah? So on the way in, everything's clean. It cleans out sheet two, clean. And then it goes through the two lines that are our executable lines that push data into that particular cell. And I thought I might show you one other thing. Um, we might have a look at just putting some data. Let's say this is our criteria, yeah? And then we've got, uh, say, mail in there. We might put mail. So the criteria is in cell O2, yeah? So Alt F11, and what we'll do is instead of store, we'll say square bracket O2, close square bracket, yeah? Now this whole procedure runs basically on the active sheet, okay? So we'll run it, and then what we'll do is we'll make it work so it works specifically on the filter sheet, yeah? All right, so let's minimize this code and have a look at how it goes when we filter mail, yeah? So let's have a look at the output page. There's data there, which is all good. And now we'll go back and grab our piece of code and we can watch what's happening by pressing F8 and F8, clear contents of the other sheet. Now that should be cleared, so it's gone. Yeah, that's all good. Alt F11, oh, I probably should have clicked into the filter sheet. That's all good. Now, uh, I'm on specifically on this sheet. Now, that I wouldn't have had to do that if I had um, made it um, point to the filter sheet. We'll do that afterwards, yeah? F8, and then it's filtered by mail, which is great. It'll copy the mail data and then turn the filters off, yeah? And then when I go into the output sheet, it's only mail data in there. 
Yeah, so that's effectively how we push data from one place to another. Yeah, I'll just stop the procedure by pressing F8. Now, how do we get it so it specifically runs on the filter sheet? So let's declare a variable. We'll say dim sh as a worksheet. And then we'll set that worksheet equal to sheet one. Yeah, and then we'll tell people that that is the filter sheet. Yeah. All right, so now every time you see sheet one, you go sheet one, uh, no. So that's that's fine, sheet one dot auto filter mode. Turn the, clear the contents of sheet two. So every time you see range, so sh dot range, and then we need to do it there as well. And then we also need to do it there, yeah? And then sheet one can become just sh. So everywhere I saw a sheet one, I replaced it. And if there was a naked range without a reference to a sheet, I put it beforehand. And then, oh, hang on, this one needs to be done as well. Read the current region. Uh, A1 to current region. Copy, yep, that's got to be done too. Yep, cool. All right, so now I can run this from anywhere inside of my workbook and it will be gold, yeah? It will always refer to the filter sheet, yeah? You leave it open if you want to be on any specific sheet, but you close it off with a reference to a worksheet. Um, if you want to have it run on a very specific sheet. So this will specifically run on the filter sheet. Now, let's go and put something different into the to the worksheet. So I'll press Alt F11, and then we've got mail, and which one haven't we run? We haven't run online, yeah? So we'll copy that, we'll paste that there, yeah? You'd probably have a drop down there, but just for the purposes of a demonstration, we've got it running as, as it does. So I'll minimize this information. So let's have a look and see how it goes. So we'll press F8 to kick it off. Filter mode off. It doesn't matter if there's no filter. It's all good. It clears the contents of the other sheet. Uh, it filters by online, which is gold. Uh, it's copied the data into the other sheet, turns the filters off. We'll go into the other sheet. There's only online there. Hashtag kaboom. That is how you run a procedure to copy information with VBA from one place to another. Well, I hope that's been useful. You can do heaps more with the auto filter. I'll run more uh, YouTube webinars like and subscribe for more information. It, it really is a wonderful language to know. Have a great day, everyone.